Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept n stones and print the number of steps needed by Mr. A, B, C to cross or reach the last one. So initially the jumping capacity of the man will be one if he is on an odd number. So this here the end stones will be represented by the integers. So if he is on an odd number, then the jumping capacity will be incremented by so jumping capacity will be incremented by two. Now if he is on an even number, then the jumping capacity will be incremented by three. And if he is on an multiple of 9 then the jumping capacity will be decremented by 5 so we have also given a note that the uh, jumping capacity never go below 0 sorry 1 so first we are getting the n stones then we are going to print the number of steps needed by Mr. ABC to cross or reach the last one. Initially his jumping capacity will be 1 then if he is on an odd number then the jumping capacity will be incremented by 2 then if he is on an even number the jumping capacity will be incremented by 3. Then if he's on a multiple of 9 means the jumping capacity will be decreased by 5. So we have also given a note that the jumping capacity never go below 1. So let us take our first test case. So here we have 7 stones. So initially the jumping capacity will be 1. And the index will be 0. Now, since the index is 0, we have 10 here. So 10 is an even number. So the jumping capacity will be incremented by 3. So the index will become the jumping capacity. That is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. And the stone in the index 4 is 40, sorry, uh, 53. 53 is an uh, odd number and the jumping capacity will be incremented by 2. Then after that, 4 plus 2 is 6. Then when we increment the index by the jumping capacity, that is 6, 4 plus 6 is 10. So when the index becomes 10, it exceeds the n stones. That is, the man have crossed beyond the n stones. So we'll stop here. 
So our output will be the steps that he have taken. That is steps is two. This will be our output. That is three and two. We can also initialize the steps equal to zero. Now we'll go to our second test case. So here we have seven stones. Now the steps will be initially zero, and the jump count, jumping count, sorry, the jumping capacity will be one, and the index is equal to zero. So in in zero zero the index we have twenty three. So first we'll increment the steps, and after that the jumping capacity will be incremented by two as twenty three is an odd number. Then the jumping capacity will be incremented to index. The index becomes three. So we have ninety in the third index. So steps will be incremented by two, and the jumping capacity will be. Incremented by three as it is an even number, then we can also see that this ninety is multiple of nine, so the jumping capacity should be decreased by five. So this gives one. Now when we increment the index with the jumping capacity, that is one, that is three plus one gives four. Now, when we check for the fourth index, we have forty-five. Forty-five is an odd number, and also, so first we'll increment the steps. Now we are having one. Now the forty-five is an odd number, so increment it by two. Then it is also divisible by nine. So. We should decrease by five. This gives minus two. So according to our note, our jumping capacity never go below one. So we will again uh, modify jumping capacity to one, and the index becomes five. That is four incremented with one. So again, you can see forty five. First, the uh, steps will be incremented. And the jumping capacity will be incremented by two, as it is an odd number. Then also it is a multiple of nine, so minus five. That gives minus two, which is below one. So let us re-modify it, and jumping capacity is one. So the index will be incremented and it becomes six. Now we have reached the end stone. So we'll stop here and we'll print the steps. That is four, which is our output. Now let us implement our program. First, we'll get the number of stones. Then we'll get the stones. Using the list, then after that we'll have to initialize the jumping capacity and the index as one comma zero, and the steps is equal to zero. So this will be our final output. Then we'll have the while while index is less than n minus one. That is Up to the index will be uh, before n. Then the steps will be incremented with one for each iteration. Then if the stones of index is even number, then the jumping capacity will be incremented by three. Else, if the jumping capacity is an odd number, then it will be incremented by two. Then if the stones Is the multiple of uh, nine means, then the jumping capacity will be 
decremented by 5 and if the jumping capacity is lesser than equal to 0 the jumping capacity will be 1 and every time the index should be incremented with jumping capacity and at last we'll print the steps first we'll get our in inputs we'll initialize the jumping capacity index and the steps then we have the while so here in the while if the number of stones is equal to n or greater than n we'll stop then we'll apply our conditions so after that we'll at last we'll print the steps now we'll execute our program we'll pass our first test case so we have got the correct output that is the number of steps taken is 2 and when we pass our second test case here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.